What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today we are taking a look at Wedge Antilles from the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch collection. Of course he is in the same red and black box packaging we have been getting forever. Got the window, got the picture. On the side he is number 102 in the line. If you don't know who Wedge is, go ahead and pause it right there and find out. So let's not waste a whole lot of time here. We're gonna get him out of the package, take a look at his accessories, and then the figure itself. Wedge comes with two accessories, the first one being this standard blaster we've seen a 100,000 times. Looks very nice, has the nice sculpt work, not a whole lot of paint going on. It's mostly black plastic with a little bit of silver paint on here, which turned out pretty cleanly. Not a whole lot to say about this blaster. It looks good course we don't really ever see Wedge use a blaster but it's nice that Hasbro just threw us a bone and gave us another weapon and of course he does also have his helmet here which is wonderfully detailed from my memory it does look very accurate to Wedge's helmet I like that they made it dirty and put a nice bit of black wash over it to give it a little bit of dirt grit and grime and the details on the helmet itself are very cleanly painted you can see the stripe along the middle of the helmet here looks very clean. All of the details and everything on the side are very cleanly painted and applied. Little bit of lineup issues right there on the Vs with the yellow dots, but that's a really small detail. Overall, you're not really gonna be noticing that, and I think from a distance, it looks damn near perfect. So really like the helmet. Don't know what else they could really have included with him since he is in his X-Wing gear, but the details are impressive. So now let's take a look at Wedge. All right, and here is Wedge out of the packaging, and you'll notice right off the bat, he's mostly just a reuse, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's honestly not surprising given they just threw him in his X-Wing gear. So of course that gave Hasbro the opportunity to reuse the Luke body, which is not necessarily a horrible thing, although in my mind, I would assume that Wedge would be a little bit taller than Luke. And I believe he is if you look at screenshots of the movie, but with them reusing this figure 100%, he's gonna be the same exact height as Luke. And I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison to see if there truly are any other details that are a little bit different for Wedge. So right off the bat, he's not really the most exciting figure to get, especially after the highs of the heavy Mandalorian going from that to this figure. Uh, it makes this figure feel a little bit worse than it probably actually is. But it's nice to have an important character like Wedge finally in the Black Series. Luke's been missing his best pilot buddy for a long time. So I'm still happy to have a Wedge figure, although it is just not as exciting as you'd hope it would be. So let's go ahead and get Wedge off the stand and take a closer look at the details. So right off the bat here, we can see that Wedge does have some really nice photo reel. Of course, he does kind of look like he's a little upset. I don't know if why Wedge's face would be so sad, but he does kind of look like he's got a little bit of a frown, like he's a little upset right now, which is an odd expression, but I guess you could also see that as a neutral faced expression. And I think the photo reel does look pretty nice. Looks very similar to the actor. So I think that definitely gets a pass. The head is at least nicely sculpted as well with the hair. The details do look nice. Of course, the hair doesn't have any sort of paint variation. It is just brown. And he does have a little bit of a helmet head look because of course the helmet does fit on Wedge's head. And it goes on there just fine, fits perfectly. Might look a little big on the actual figure itself, but I think the helmets were probably a little bit big anyway. But I think it lines up nice and it looks pretty nice, but I'm gonna display him with the helmet off just like I do with the X-Wing pilot Luke. Love doing those uh, holding the helmet poses. So continuing down the figure, again, like I said, it's just the Luke body. Nothing we haven't seen before. Even the lightsaber hilt is still there. So if you want to give Wedge a lightsaber for some storage, there you go. But the details are nicely sculpted and the paint application is pretty good overall. The switches and everything on the gear right here look pretty nice and the vest underneath is also pretty good, although the white paint application does get pretty 
pretty questionable in quite a few places, but it's not too bad. It's really not. Of course, he does have some shoulder doohickeys that are painted in there, and they do look pretty good, although there is a little bit of a miss on the back side. And the gloved hands do also look pretty good. And the black paint, or you can tell that this is probably black plastic with some orange paint over it and it sort of gives it a wash look and there is a little bit of a wash on the figure as well in random places like this leg looks like it's washed but not this leg i don't know if that's some effect of the plastic or if it's actually supposed to be there but it kind of ends up working and looking pretty decent and the boots again are the same boring boots just black plastic not a whole lot going on the doohickeys right here are painted really nicely as well so overall, again, it's not a bad figure. It's just kind of boring. So let's take a look. We're going to put him square up with Luke right now and just compare the details. So yeah, just take a look at that. 100%. <laughs> not a single detail has really changed on this figure. Wedge's suit honestly does look a little bit darker orange, though, than Luke's. But other than that, we're looking at 100% the exact same figure. And you can even see that they are the exact same height. So now let's take a look at Wedge's articulation. Of course, his head can look up actually really far. That's, that's pretty good for Black Series. And it can look down pretty much not at all. Of course, it does do side to side. And you get a small amount of tilt, not too much. The shoulders do go out really far. They have rotation. The nice single jointed elbows give you exactly 90 degrees. The hands of course rotate. This hand features the horizontal peg, while this hand, which is really loose on my copy, does feature the vertical hand. Of course, for the chest, he does have a little bit of movement there. It is on a ball joint, but you don't really get a whole lot of side to side out of it. But let's test the crunch here. So he can go forward just a little bit and he can go far back. So he can go back further than he can go forward, which doesn't make sense for a human being, but oh well. And the legs can't really move out due to this plastic piece, although you can force it up if you really, really wanted to do something along these lines here. But that's honestly pretty much all you're gonna get out of it, so best to just leave that be. Same thing with kicking the legs out. You can see that the soft plastic piece does inhibit it in some ways, although you definitely can work around it. And the double knee. Oh boy, that was rough there. The double knee does work, although it is a little inhibited due to the design of the costume. He does have boot swivel though, which is interesting. You don't really see boot swivel too much on Black Series figures, but of course, it's the same figure as Luke, so he's gonna have the exact same articulation. The feet can move down really far, and they can move up a decent amount. And of course, you get the ankle pivot. So now let's go ahead, we're gonna compare Wedge to some other figures in the Black Series and some other figures in general. So here is Wedge next to Luke and the Mandalorian, then with IG-11 and the Heavy Mando, then next to the Marvel Legends Daredevil and the Mafex First Order Stormtrooper, then finally NECA Sam and Michael. So overall, Wedge is not the most exciting figure to come out of the Black Series, especially when we've been getting so many bangers back to back. And with him being mostly a reuse as well, it certainly doesn't help his case. Although the photoreal head is really nice and the details on the helmet as well also help this figure just to be a little bit better. But unfortunately, like I said, I'm just not really feeling all like wild about this figure. I'm happy that I only paid $10 for him on Walmart Cyber Monday. Wedge is an important character and he's definitely a must have for the collection, but as an action figure, it's just, it's just kind of whatever. So I'll leave this one up to you guys. What do you think? Are you going to pick up a wedge? Did you pick him up for $10 on Cyber Monday? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. We're always talking about action figures, movies, and Blu-rays. So if any of that stuff is interesting to you, 
smash subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my review, guys. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement, and I will see you next time.